Hi, this is Natalie and this is Astrojet. Woohoo! <laughs> this is a time lapse of a painting I did the other day. Uh, just abstract, not based on any real deep space image. There is no reference used, so just. Just. Yeah, just. Bullshit, really. I'm just things I made up on the spot. <laughs> Excuse my language. Um. If you don't like it, you can turn off the sound because there might be more cursing coming in the rest of the video because that's just the way I speak. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so I've put on some basic layers first of um, blue and red. So there's, I should probably look up the, what colors I used, but. I'll put the, the real colors, I'll put it in the description. So we have two different blues, two different reds, so there's the magenta red and the other red. And then we had a little bit of pink and thing going on and then now obviously there is yellow. As you can see. Obvious. So the way I work is I use, you will see that I sp spray regularly, which is just water. Because this is acrylic paint, it dries really quickly, as anyone who has worked with acrylics before can testify to. It just dries up. That's one of the disadvantages and advantages of acrylics, I would say, is just the way it dries so quickly. Um, but despite that, it is 100% my favorite medium to use for painting. Because it has so much advent, yeah, so much other perks to it. And uh, the quick drying time, honestly, it's something which is sometimes an advantage. So just, yeah, work with it and uh, do the tricks. Use all of the tricks, like just spray the water and it is fine. Anyway, you could see that I added some white and I'm just like feathering it out a bit. Is that the word? Feathering? I don't think so. Um, but anyway, um, I'm tapping some stars on there. Usually, well, mostly always, I actually lay the canvas flat for stars because if you do it like standing up like this, you have a good chance that some of the stars aren't round, but a little bit like stretched out and obviously just tapped on. Um, there was a big blob there, which I didn't like and I tried to make it into a glowy star. Obviously it didn't work, so I just chucked some black on top and no one knows it's there. <laughs> or it was been there. It is gone now, which is... Thank you, acrylics. <laughs> I mean, you can do that with oil paints, but you would have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry, I suppose. I mean, I would. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be talking about oil paints because I. The last time I've used it was probably hmm, twenty years ago. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm just slapping a number on it. But yeah, I have come to the age that I can. Safely say like, oh, 20 years ago we did this, oh, man, fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, I decided to add some more color, a little bit more the blue and um, magenta red. Uh, so you see, I just slap it on there, spray water on it, and then use my makeup brushes to um, uh, blend it out a bit. I uh, made sure the underground was still a bit wet and added white. The white I use, I have also mixed in gl glow in the dark powder. So uh, the painting should glow in the dark and I will add a photo of it at the end. So you can all see what it looks like in the dark. It's just one of those silly little features that most of my paintings have. It's just a fun little thing. Even though it, it makes the painting process a little bit more tricky at times. Um, because the mixing in the glow powder in the white isn't always a smooth process. And it makes the white 
sometimes a little bit lumpy and a little bit more tricky to work with. Yet I still do it because it's fun. <laughs> and I can. I do it because I can. <laughs> Anyway, this is a stage where I was like, oh, I, I'm not sure if I like this painting. Um, I go through a lot of those stages during the painting process. Usually it takes up to maybe 80 or even 90% of the painting being done before I can say like, oh yeah, now, now I might be starting to like it. And with this one, I was sometimes like, yeah. I think I like it, and then other times it was, yeah, no, this is not doing it for me, so. Um, but just keep going, and the great thing about acrylics is you can just paint over it if you don't like it, which I will do at the end. You will see, um, I decided that I didn't like the dried product um, several days later, so I just painted over it, because I can. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I wanted to add some purple there. Um, one of the annoying things about acrylics, though, is that when they dry, you can see it. Um, the color gets a bit dull and it kind of disappears a little bit. So it gets a bit tricky to like, actually know what it looks like or would look like. Uh, with varnish on top. Uh, one thing to... Um, one way to fix that is to, you guessed it, spray it with water. <laughs> if you spray it with water, it will kind of show what it would look like with varnish. It will bring back the colors a little bit. Anyway, here I try to add some depth into in between those two white streaks, but oh, I didn't really like the design, but I was still going for it because I thought, oh, maybe, maybe this will be okay, but maybe it won't. Add a little bit more again time because I could. I um, apologize for the background sounds and the noise. Um, unfortunately, they live uh, on a pretty busy street. And there's a roundabout right in front of my door. And just there's a lot of very, very noisy cars. And the motorcycles are the worst as well. And also there's a bus stop kind of in front of my door. Not in front, but like in front of my neighbor's door. So there's that as well. And this microphone is also not the best one. And it picks up everything. And also... My house, well, it's not mine. The house I live in has pretty thin walls, um, which means that I'm kind of freezing right now because we're getting into winter here in Australia. Anyway, yeah, um, to make things a little bit <laughs> short, <laughs> it's too late to make things short because I've been just babbling, babbling on. Yeah, there might be some background sounds and I'll try to edit it out, but obviously I cannot do miracles. The software only goes as far as it goes, so uh, apologies for that. Hey. Anyway, there is yellow on the painting. Yes, that is, I said what I said. I am just blending things out. Oh, 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 here. So um, I lost a lot of footage. I don't know what happened. It was just probably not recording. So I slapped some stars on there. And then here I'm just going in by hand, just adding some clusters and some some glowy, glowy, starsy thingies. Um, just to make it interesting. And then I finished it, and then a few days later I decided I didn't like it. So, um, well, I already did give the spoiler alert earlier. So, um, yeah, I decided to just paint over it a little bit. Because I didn't like the composition. How's that for a good word? Anyway, you can see that I sprayed the canvas 
a bit water again to wet it and that was obviously the way I said before <laughs> it was to um to give me the colors uh, the way it would be if it was varnished so I decided to just, just um get rid of the the, the two lines of white because that it wasn't working for me it, it didn't do it so instead I just added this blob of um <laughs> This blob of blue and uh, white, <laughs> and a little bit of magenta as well. <laughs> oh yeah, because I can. <laughs> also, if I said that now, okay, okay, I will have to be mindful. I will be mindful in the future to not say um, <laughs> that as often. <laughs> anyway, just um, just chucking some stars on there and not really knowing whether or not I liked it, but just doing it, because, yeah, I think it looks better, though. I think it looks better than it was before, because that was not, that was not good. This is good. I like how many colors there are in this one, because I usually stick to only a few main colors, uh, but in this one we have pretty much all of the primary ones, hey? Which is one, one thing I usually, I do not have a lot of paint um, tubes, actually, I only have the primary colors. Have a few different, a few different blues, a few different reds, a few different yellows, but that's that's about it, really. Yeah, and and then the white and the black, obviously. But I don't really need more. It's good. Oh, here. So that was the end of the actual painting. I finished it. I was happy with it. Two days later, three days. I don't know. How many days was it? Yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? So why? I'll give you the varnish, because <laughs> that would be a little bit cruel of me, wouldn't it, to just not show you the end result of what it actually looks like with a varnish, and it's kind of satisfying too, just to see the colors pop. Hello. It's pretty good. I am quite happy with um, the result. It is not my best painting but it's definitely not my worst and you know i i'm kind of better with just reference paintings instead of just these abstract ones but this one turned out fairly good i think what do you guys think um please give me a like and a subscribe and uh, see you later bye